Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? Today, I'm gonna give you a quick start guide on how to start a soap making business online. Over the last decade, the soap industry has boomed, especially because there are so many people who have special skincare needs. People are searching for organic soaps, soap for acne, soap for eczema, and even soap to clean and calm the skin down after getting a tattoo. If you're looking to make some money and make a difference in someone's life, you should consider starting a soap making business online. So let me break down the stats for you. Over 275 million Americans are using bar soap. Globally, the soap market is expected to hit $42 billion by 2025, which means there's still a lot of room for you to sell soap. Did you know that people are buying soap supplies like soap oil and the molds for less than 50 cents each and then turning a profit of one bar of soap for 10 to $12? That's a lot of money. So where's your piece of this pie? Let me tell you this, there's always gonna be people looking for reliable and affordable companies to buy their favorite soaps from, and that's where you come in. So how do you get started? Let's jump right in. Since this is not a soap making video, I won't go through all the steps of making the actual soap, but what I will do is reveal the process on how to get your soap making business set up the right way. So there are two methods to start this kind of business. You can set it up as a drop shipping store where someone else is responsible for shipping the soaps to your customers, or you can buy, store, and ship out your own inventory. Once you choose a method, you can now proceed to step one. If you have no idea how a soap business operates, and maybe you're a first time online business owner, I recommend you get a business plan from Fiverr. What they'll do is create a custom business plan that outlines exactly how your business is supposed to work and what you should expect. So whether you choose the drop shipping method or to buy and hold your own inventory, the supplier research process is still exactly the same. If you wanna get started right away and you don't have a lot of money to buy inventory, you'll wanna head over to Google and type in these words, drop ship soap. This will give you access to thousands of handmade soaps to sell in your online store right away without actually needing to buy any of them. If you do have some money and you want to manage your own inventory and keep your own products in your own warehouse to ship, just Google the words buy wholesale bar soap. As you can see, the listings will actually change and from here you can find a company to buy in bulk from. When you got all that sorted, it's time to officially register your business. You won't be able to buy wholesale supplies, or even work with a dropship supplier until you complete this step. You need to register and apply for a federal EIN number and form an LLC or a corporation. And depending on what state you're in, you'll likely also need a reseller or a retail merchant certificate as well. This is going to allow you to buy the products tax free. I recommend using my corporation as they do have a wide variety of packages to choose from, but their most basic package will get you started right away. Now, since you're going to be getting all of this money, you're going to need somewhere to put it. And it's pretty easy to open a business bank account, but they won't actually get you set up without having that legal incorporation paperwork or the EIN number that I just spoke about. You can work with a local bank that you're already using, or you could just choose a new one. And if you haven't heard of Square, they also have a business banking department who can get you set up right away with a checking account, and it's online, and the best thing of all, it's free. So the next step in this process is to buy your website hosting. You can use any provider that you're familiar with, and I know that there's a bunch of them out there, but I always recommend choosing Bluehost because they are the most reliable for e-commerce stores. You'll also get a free domain name, 
a free SSL certificate, and access to 24 seven tech support. So you really can't beat it. Once you pay for a plan with Bluehost, they'll send you your login credentials. You wanna save that information and deliver it to the website designer in the next step. If you don't know about Fiverr, it's a company that sells affordable website development and marketing services that get done really, really quick. All you do is just type in what you want in the search bar and it will reveal tons of people who are willing to help you get your website set up in less than three days. I would highly recommend that you make a list of soap websites that you really like and then send those to the website designer to get a quote. Once you choose the person that you wanna work with, give them the Bluehost details and communicate your vision and your plans for the website. So while they're working on your new website, you'll need to activate a merchant account for your customers to pay you through. Many businesses use PayPal, Square, or Stripe. Again, I personally like Square to make it super easy for me to accept payments online, via my email, my website, and over the phone. The account with Square is absolutely free, so once you sign up, give these details to the website designer to complete the payment integration process. Finally, you're going to need to start spreading the word about your business. A good place to start is to get a logo, business cards, and online marketing materials created. For this, I've got three resources for you. You can choose what fits your budget and your timeline. For a soap business, I recommend using 99designs for branding because their process is super quick, super simple, and they'll actually give you what you want. And then there's this company called Envato, which has tons of graphics and flyers for each and every single kind of business on demand. And then there's Canva Pro, which is a graphic design tool for beginners, which also comes with a ton of templates and you can create your own logos and create your own marketing materials on the go. Okay, so now that you're all set up, how will you actually make money? Here's what you'll need to know in order to take a check to the bank. Since you now own a soap store, you can choose from a variety of items to sell. The most popular are organic soaps, seasonal soaps, sensitive skin soaps, and acne soaps. To bring in some extra cash, you can also start selling all natural body washes, bath bombs, foaming soaps, and specialty fragrance soaps. Now that you've gone soap crazy, I'm sure you're probably wondering, what's the price tag on this baby? Startup costs for this kind of business using the drop shipping method are usually anywhere from around $700 to $2,000 on average. But if you're planning to fund your own inventory, please be prepared to drop the big bucks. If you like this business idea and you wanna know where to get the products from at the discounted price, the link to the vendor list is at the bottom of this video. I'm also giving away my new marketing strategy book series for free. If you want it, just go to my website, enter in your email address, and I'll send it to you right away. If you like this video or you know someone who needs to see this today, tag your friend, hit like, and give it a share. And until next time, guys, take care.